As the final events of Bible prophecies are rapidly being fulfilled, the call coming from God to His people as such a crisis as this is to come up higher. Come up higher as God called Moses to Mount Sinai. Come up higher as Elijah called the people of God to come up on Mount Carmel. Come up higher because our redemption draweth nigh. Come up higher because we have a high calling in Jesus Christ. Come and let us learn how to run this race together as we listen to this daily devotional. Our High Calling, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. Jesus, our best friend. A man that had friends must shew himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Proverbs 18, verse 24. How few are constantly beholding the unseen guest, realizing that he is at their right hand. How many ignore his presence? Did we treat others as we treat Jesus? What discourtesy it would be taught. Suppose a friend were with us and we should meet an acquaintance on the way and direct our whole attention to our newfound acquaintance, ignoring the presence of our friend. What opinion would men have our loyalty to our friend of our degree of respect to him. And yet, this is the way we treat Jesus. We forget that he is our companion. We engage in conversation and never mention his name. We talk of worldly business matters, and where it does not bruise the soul, where it is essential, we do not dishonor Jesus, but we do dishonor him when we fail to mention him in our intercourse with our friends and associates. He is our best friend and we should seek to opportunities to speak of him. We should ever keep him in view. Our conversation should be of a character that would be of no offense to God. I know that in many hearts the inquiry arises, where shall I find Jesus? There are many who want his presence, want his love and his light, but they know not where to look for him, for whom their hearts yearn. And yet Jesus does not hide himself away. No one needs search for him in vain. Behold, he says, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him, and I will sup with him, and he with me. Revelations 3, verse 20. Jesus invites us to accept his presence. We are to open the door of the heart and let him in. But he will not share a divided heart. If it be given to the service of mammon, if selfishness and pride fill its chambers, there will be no room for the heavenly guest. He will not take up his abode with us until the soul temple has been emptied and cleansed. Yet, there is no need of making a failure in the Christian life. Jesus is waiting to do a great work for us, and all heaven is interested in our salvation.